In this tutorial, we're going to look at one other way in which you can vary and differentiate the pattern on a surface using an image sampler. So um, let's go back to our front view and just create a surface. I'll just create two curves and then go to my perspective view. And I'll just move that curve over there and then loft between these two. And then let's bring that surface into Grasshopper and then we can hide it once we're done. Okay, and so um, the first thing I want to do is subdivide that surface. So I'll go to my surface, utilities, divide surface, and then I'll create a slider for the U and V values. Let's go two less than 70. And we can just use the same one for my U and V in this case. And I'll just increase that and you can see it um, increases the number of points on the surface. So now let's look at the image sampler. The image sampler is an input, so if you go to params input, you can find image sampler. And you can see right now there's no image load, there's no default image. So if I double click on this, uh, this is the um, pop up, and so you, under file path, you can browse for your image. So I've already downloaded this one, but this could be any pattern you want. Um, it could be a very complex pattern if you want it to be. Um, I'll just use this one. And then one thing you should note here is that the, right now the existing domain is 0 to 1. 0 to 1. So that should tell you that for the surface you need to reparameterize that surface so it's also 0 to 1. So it's proportional. So it's not using the dimensional um, the dimensions or measurements of the surface like the length and width but actually the domain of the surface um, in a proportional way. So we're going to go ahead and keep that 0 to 1, say OK, and then immediately come over here to surface, right click and reparameterize it so that these values, so that this image will be able to map on that surface um, uh, proportionally as opposed to just a little piece of the surface. OK, so the next thing we want to do is put circles on the surface. So we're going to use circle CNR, we'll put them on these points and the surface, the surface divide comes with the normal so we can use that normal there and then let's do a slider for radius. I'll do negative or just 0.5 less than let's say 5.00 and let's see if that works. Whenever we're doing a variation of a pattern um, okay maybe we'll go a little bit bigger on this. Let's go to 8. Um, whenever we're doing variations of a pattern we want to remap numbers. The numbers coming out of here won't be um, the numbers we want to use for the radius, they'll be out of the range. So let's go ahead and do a remap. And then we'll do another construct domain, which will allow us to um, create a new domain of numbers. So I always like to start here, figure out my smallest one. That looks pretty good. And we can change these later if we need to. So I'll just go ahead and copy paste and then increase this number and we can figure out the size we want to use a little bit later. So that'll be my target domain. The next thing we want to do, if we pull panel out of the image, uh, nothing will come out of that. So right now there's no data. So we need to figure out what kind of data we want to use this image for. And in this case, we want to use it for the um, U's and V's at each of those points. So what that does is basically all of the points you have, these 20 points in the row um, in the U direction and 20 points in the V direction, imagine those getting mapped across this image and then it's finding the RGB value of each of those points as they sort of intersect or where they exist on that image. So um, that's some kind of information. If you look down, um, that's going to show variation within those numbers and, and if we plug that directly into the circle it's not going to work because those numbers are not what we need. Now one thing that's different, so these are going to be the values that we want to remap. One thing that's a little different in this one is that we don't actually need a source domain because the image is 0 to 1 and because we've reparameterized the surface our domain is 0 to 1. So we don't need to actually find out what that existing domain is, that's going to be just fine. And now we can plug those remap numbers into the circle. And you'll see it'll then um, vary the size based on the, the, the um, RGB values of this image. Let me go ahead and preview off some of this so we can see it a little bit better. If I increase the count, you know, we get a, a higher resolution um, of that image being mapped to the circle sizes. And of course, we can always change these values as we see fit. 